Hi, Miss Thomas. The um, So the book I read was Winter Study, and it was published in 2008. And it takes place on um, Isle Royale National Park in Michigan. And so the story starts out with Anna Pigeon leaving Ely, Minnesota in a plane to uh, Isle Royale. And then she meets some of the other characters or the other members of the winter study team and she um, explains how Homeland Security is sending somebody there and that's the other character Bob and um, sending an agent there to check out the study of the wolves and the, the moose populations to see basically to shut it down because they want to increase security on the island so um so yeah, she flies, gets to Isle Royale, and um, Isle Royale, it's a relatively, you know, big island in Lake Superior, and it takes place in um, the winter season in J January, so it's very cold, and the weather changes very rapidly because it's on an island. So she's all, you know, wearing her winter gear and her warm clothes. And she gets to the um, gets to Isle Royale, meets the other members of the winter study, and um, you know starts to get into the groove of things. And then one night, the a wolf pack comes close to the close into the camp, and kind of freaks everyone out. And they're kind of wondering why that happened. It's very unusual of wolves to come that close to humans and stuff. So um. Basically, her basic duties were to go out and help collect research, help the um, help the other members of the team, help Doctor um, help Ridgely Murray, help Doctor Catherine pick up um, scat and just pick up any kind of things that they could use for research. And she set wolf traps and um, scouted the area, and she kept on smelling something which in the long run was the Wendigo which was actually Robin's boyfriend um, faking as one of this mutant mystery wolf so um, yeah she um, helps out a lot and then um, some of the more mystery mysterious stuff comes in they find some like mysterious DNA that you know isn't really a wolf it's kind of like a mutant wolf so everyone's kind of confused and kind of worried that there's some kind of you know werewolf or some kind of crazy animal on the island so they do some more investigating and um, while they're investigating they find a dead wolf or they find a dead wolf and they do some operations on it and right after that that's when the mystery happens when um, Dr. Catherine gets murdered by um, a pack of wolves and they find her body and she's ripped up to pieces and Catherine she um, she was a doctor she really loved her job and it was kind of confusing how wolves could you know rip someone up like that so um, Anna Pigeon was you know she's an investigator and so she started picking up you know different clues and different you know piecing things together things didn't really make sense so um after further investigations and you know calling people out and other mysterious things happening she's thinking that this bob character bob manishan is um he's kind of a weird guy and he's kind of like abusive in the way he talks so he's she starts investigating him a lot and um finds out that he's kind of a he's very mean towards women and um was very mean to Catherine which was her which was his grad assistant and um she started piecing some things together and figured out that Bob was acting maliciously on the island and um blackmailing um uh, women with um some you know inappropriate pictures and stuff like that so after Anna figures out everything that Bob is the culprit, she um, f 
figures out that Adam, another member of the team, um, the wife that committed suicide was also Bob's um, grad assistant at one time. And so the story goes that Bob actually, you know, f kind of forced Adam's wife to uh, commit suicide because she couldn't really live with herself anymore. So um, Anna figured all this out from the internet and doing research on the members and stuff. So she runs out and tries to figure out what happened or figure out um, to find Bob and Adam because she realized that they're together in a team doing investigative work. And she figures out that Adam is probably going to want to kill Bob. So she runs up and finds them on the finds them on a cliff, and Bob's all drugged up with ketamine, which he usually uses on the women that he blackmails. So Adam had drugged him and was gonna basically push him off the cliff or leave Bob lead Bob off the cliff, so you know he could get his revenge. Adam could get his revenge on um, Bob, but Adam, but um. Anna runs up, figures out the situation, you know, is going to do the, you know, the most, the most honest and right thing and, you know, not let Adam kill Bob, you know, she wants him to go to jail and all this to, you know, fit together. So, um, she runs and help grabs Bob and Adam, doesn't let Adam kill Bob. And, um, because of that, Adam, you know, he was planning on Bob, you know, dying and now that Bob's going to live and Anna's going to, you know, do it the right way or whatever, Adam didn't really want to live with himself anymore. So he fell from the cliff and died. And then Bob is popping out of his, you know, his drugs, his days, and then he tries to kill Anna because he realized that Anna figured out everything about him with the um, satellite phone and the pictures and um, all the malicious things that he's done. So... You know, Adam, or Anna, Pigeon, and um, Bob, they go at it a while, you know, hitting each other, hurting each other. Adam, or um, Anna gets her ankle broken by Bob, and then um, Anna knocks Bob off with a branch and then gets on the, um, the snowmobile and goes away on the snowmobile. And then um, Bob catches up because it runs out of gas, blah, 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 and uh, she... Um, she winds up killing Bob with a flare that she had from the safety kit of the um, the um, the snowmobile. So that's how Bob died, and that's how she basically was able to survive. And then um, Robin and Gavin, the mysterious Wendigo, find Anna, you know, shriveled up, you know, b badly bruised and broken, you know, and. They start helping her, and then that's when Anna figures out the whole story, how the Wendigo was just a made-up idea to try to keep the study go the winter study going. And um, so the mysterious Wendigo was Gavin. He would dress up and, you know, looked like a, you know, the mysterious wolf that Anna thought she saw from the plane. He, you know, set up all the, the tracks and, you know, set up all the, um, all the props and stuff. So how Catherine died was she, um, Gavin accidentally gave her a backpack that had um, that had um, what, what is it called that had a um, that had the smell the scent that brings in the wolves. So she's running around injured already because Bob injured her when um, earlier in the book. So she's running or Catherine's running around with a backpack full of you know stuff the smell that's going to attract wolves and she's injured so the wolves actually attacked and killed Catherine which wasn't supposed to happen and um Robin and Gavin felt bad about it and you know kind of were at fault but Gavin did not mean to give her the backpack with the um the smelly um attracting stuff and then so at the end of the book um the re the remaining members of the winter study team um talk together f you know piece the whole mystery together piece you know Bob's malicious act and how he wanted to shut down the shut down the um winter study and how he treated women and blackmailed them and stuff and how Gavin and um Robin wanted to um basically save the study 
by you know make acting like there's a mysterious wolf or a mutant wolf to make the the study more um myster- or, uh, intriguing so that maybe the the government would keep the um the study open more so they um the res- the remaining of the the remaining members of the um winter study team you know devised a plan that um pointed all the bad pointed all of the um the doings on at or uh, on Bob and a little bit on Adam but not like anything malicious with Adam but how Bob like killed Adam and Bob set up all this stuff so um basically I was I was happy with the book and um it's a really good mystery and I was kind of surprised at the end that it was the mysterious Wendigo was Robin's boyfriend that um canoed all the way there from the mainland you know, hid out by himself and, you know, lived in the cold January, um, negative temperatures just by himself in some cabin that was far away, not far away, but on the other side of the island. So, um, yeah, it was a good book and, um, I'm happy I read it and yeah, that's basically my summary about the book and it was only supposed to be two minutes long, but it looks like I'm going at 11 minutes here. So I hope you don't hate me because of that. But, yep, that was it.